Hey everyone, welcome to WFX, a business technology show about working from anywhere and the tools that enable us to do so. I'm Justin Nolan, your host, and today I have a very highly anticipated unboxing and setup video for you. This is Starlink Business. Let's go take a look. All right, this is an operating property, so there is some construction vehicles driving around that you can probably hear in the background. Unfortunately, I couldn't find my uh, DJI lapel recording mic this morning, so hopefully my audio sounds good. Got here in front of me on this camera, the top down, you can see it's backwards because that's the way this box opens. We're going to open this up. The tape is still intact. We're going to open it up for the first time and take a look. Let's go. Trust the knife away, except that I still need it. Uh, really need to get an iPad or a stand for my other camera here. Let's open it up and see. Alright, similar to other boxes, you're going to see you've got the uh, diagram here, the poster board with the Starlink Stars logo chart on it. Put that over there. Nice big solid packing plastic like previous kits. And holy moly, this thing is huge. We have a stand just like in the other kits, which you can see right over here. It is larger than the other one, so I'm probably not going to be able to swap it out like I originally planned, so we're gonna have to uh, gonna have to do that later. How's it going? Pretty good, how are you so? Good, just doing a little video. All right, put that aside. Let's take off this uh, nice piece of plastic here. It is packed very well. It does look like there might be a little bit of dust on this. It could just be the coating. All right, let's open it up and see. Here's, whoops, here's the big one. Next to me, you can see how big it is. I'm approximately six feet tall. And this is much larger uh, than the other one. I'd say probably one and a half times the size. Uh, I'll uh, hold it under the top-down cam so that you all can see here. Nothing on the base, but it is much bigger. It's the same um, on the back. Looks to be relatively the same. You've got the cord that is uh, pushed in here. That's your standard. Oh, that's not your standard. That's uh, a new... I don't even recognize what that is here. Let's... Uh, Let's see if I can pull this up so that I can show you what cable that is on the top down cam here. Let's see. You'll see that. There we go. This looks like a uh, micro USB, but with uh, one side of it is squared off. So that's an interesting connector there. So keep that in mind if you want to reuse cables. Put this over here. You've got your setup guide. Pretty standard straightforward. There goes one of our vehicles. Continue going through the box. All right, we have some new hardware in here. This looks familiar to most of you, I imagine. This is very similar, if not the same, as the um, square dishy plug. You've got your, uh, got your main power, Mickey Mouse style, with the gaskets around it. And this one is micro USB, just like before. I don't know why it's not USB C, but whatever. Now this is new to me, and I believe new to the business kit as well. You've got a uh, extra power adapter, it looks like here. And I was reading online something about being able to use a ethernet cable to plug directly into your equipment, and it looks like that might actually be this. Let's see, what does this go to? This goes to the modem, although it does indicate network on it. And then this one goes to the dish, which indicates that. It's two different cables. Not seeing yet the cable to go directly out to a separate router, but perhaps that's what this was for. Similar cable. All right. Got the flies up here. Terrible. You think? Order. Order was hard to focus. Oh, here we go. I overlooked this cable over here. This is a direct Ethernet cable. So if you don't want to use the Starlink router, you you know, and you don't want to use a bypass. I, I do have the Ethernet adapter here, so um, the question is, which do we want to set up? Do we want to use the Ethernet adapter to go out into my existing infrastructure here, which is a Ubiquiti network, uh, or do I want to use this, which goes directly by Ethernet? I think I'm going to use the Ethernet adapter because, as you can see, this cable is approximately six feet long, and I have a 20-foot run to go from there to my network shed, so... 
I think we'll stick with the adapter. And of course, you also have your regulatory paperwork in 30 different languages, it looks like. Leave that for later. All right, let's go get this thing set up. All right, end of the day here, as you can see, I've got it all mounted up there behind me. I'll turn the camera around in a second so that you can see it better, but we've got the business, Starlink business, Dishy, up and running, connected to the Ubiquiti network. Everything is live. Literally double the speeds I had this morning. Take a look at my handiwork. Running like a dream. One thing to note is that the cable did not go through the stand like it did on the residential Dishy. Why that is, I'm not sure. I have asked um, Starlink to give me an answer. Then I got this cord coming down here. And in through the vent. We'll seal that up with some nice uh, silicone later on. Runs inside, comes back down to a underground Ethernet connection, which goes over to the network shed, which is in the background behind me. And uh, that's where the network on the rest of the property disseminates from. If you're curious about how, what's running or where it's running on the rest of the property here, there's 200 acres. We've put in a fiber backbone powered by all ubiquity equipment and uh, runs obviously the long runs on fiber and then drops back into ethernet and ubiquity setups and has uh, either a whole bunch of nanos spread throughout the property, UAC pros, a um, couple of mesh ones just for filling in certain areas, but every single unit has its own access point and everybody has functional internet. I'm being paged. All right, back in the studio here, a couple of notes from the install. It's been running for a couple of days and we have had uh, no issues. In fact, we've had better performance uh, than we did with the residential. So I can confirm just from my anecdotal evidence here that it is uh, having or it does have a better tolerance for obstructions there where I normally would have maybe three or four obstructions uh, you know per every couple of hours we've had one in the last uh, I don't know 24 hours or so if you go into the statistics in the app and I can share a screenshot of this um, we've got pretty decent latency 18 milliseconds it does go up to uh, 28 sometimes 30 a little bit higher than that and speed test we've been it's hard to tell because I'm not on site, but we have had speeds all the way up to 60, 75 uh, meg. And that's with, um, uh, I don't know how many people are on the property at the moment. I could, uh, I guess, try and find that out. But essentially, there's usually 50 cabins in this uh, cabin in the woods getaway up there. And they are usually full on the weekend. So these are weekend speeds and people are playing Hulu, playing Netflix, streaming on their phones. Not too much gaming going on. Um, but there is also some office work. The, uh, the staff that are on site are doing some video calling as well. And uh, so far, nobody's complained. It's been working without a hiccup. There is one thing that you'll notice in the video is we had a buzzing going on on the dish. And uh, to talk about the Starlink support, I don't know if there's a way to call them yet. I haven't discovered that. So if you know the number to call Starlink and get better premium support, uh, drop it in the comments and let me know. 
I did manage to get in touch with them while I was installing it uh, on the day that I filmed the video, which was a couple of days ago, and was chatting in the app throughout the day in near real time with multiple different agents as I guess their shifts changed. And they were troubleshooting and they were helping with making sure that the software was up to date. And uh, we had a buzzing sound. And for some reason, just coming from the bottom of the business dish, it was just a, a buzzing, as you can hear in the video here. And they are made it immediately. I didn't ask them. They just said, all right, we are made it. I got an email that there was a confirmation of a new model ordered and shipped, and the other one was RMA. Now this is a little bit annoying for me because the site where the equipment is set up is two and a half hours from my house. So if I have to go out there and swap it out, that's a little bit um, inconvenient for me, but I guess for the good of the, the whole here, um, I wanna do that and get it up there because Starlink specifically said, hey, you're one of the early customers to get it. We wanna get this thing back and make sure that there's not a, a greater issue going on. So I'm gonna head up there um, probably next week and swap it out and ship back and uh, I'll, I guess I'll have to do a follow-up on doing that and, uh, and do a follow-up video for all of you and answer any further questions. Some of the other things that I had seen from the communities that I'm in, whether it's uh, Slack communities that are asking about uh, Starlink hardware or the Starlink Facebook group that I'm in, uh, different people are asking different questions. Uh, there are some performance items to, uh, to note here. The Starlink business Latency is going to be 20 to 40 milliseconds, which is uh, the same as far as I can tell as the other um, the other models, whether it's RV or residential or the original circular. Uh, the expected download speeds for business is 150 to 500, which compares to regular Starlink, which is 50 to 250. And the expected upload here is greater on uh, on business is 20 to 40 megabits per second as compared to residential, which is 10 to 20. Starlink business with the circular hardware they note here is 15 to 40. I don't know where that circular hardware is going out, but I have heard, uh, for example, in Australia that somebody was receiving the circular business hardware. So um, I guess uh, let us know which one you get in the comments. And then the Starlink for RVs is 10 to 20. And if it's deprioritized, upload is one to 10. Uh, and also for download speeds, Starlink for, or for RVs is 50 to 250 or 5 to 100 when deprioritized. All of them have no data caps. Um, to clarify on the Ethernet cable, the bypass, I did... I did use the uh, the Ethernet adapter that I bought from from Starlink, just because again I already had the cable running to my network shed, which is where my entire network uh, uh, is controlled and disseminates from. So I didn't end up using the cable that it came with, but it does come with an approximately six foot uh, Ethernet cable that you can plug directly into the um, the the box that powers the dish, and you can plug directly into your equipment from there. Uh, however, I did not test it because again it's about. I don't know, 50 feet away from my network shed. Um, another question that came from the community is, what is the hardware difference between Starlink and Starlink Business? So Starlink Business, as you notice, is much bigger. You have double the antenna area, and uh, according to Starlink, you have higher availability, improved performance in case of minor obstruction, obstructions. So anecdotally, I have seen that um, already. And you get greater throughput, as we just discussed on the speeds. Starlink Business also provides increased snow melt capabilities, as, as well as the ability to deliver faster speeds in high temperature environments. So um, we're up in the mountains, and we do have temperature swings anywhere from 90 during the day to 40 at night, as well as some nice solid snow melts. We're uh, five and a half thousand feet uh, elevation, so we do get some decent snow during the winter time. So it'll be good to see how this performs, and uh, hopefully, I mean, I've heard the regular residential Dishy has had no problems with the snow, um, and uh, so I'm sure that this one will be just fine. Um, other questions that we had here, there were a couple of people that brought this one up, is why not purchase multiple residential dishes and combine them, and then you have a redundancy and you have higher speeds overall. Um, we did think about this, and I have had this discussion with a bunch of people, and there's a couple of reasons. One is because with the business dish, you get twice the upload. You get better tolerance for uh, for obstructions, but it's also prioritized. So if everybody else in the mountain, as far as I understand it, if everyone else on the mountain has residential dishy or has, has residential Starlink, 
and there is too much of a load on the satellite or for whatever reason there's not enough bandwidth to go around we're going to get it first there's also the sla like i said i got in touch with support and i said hey there's a buzzing here and i uploaded a video of the buzzing of the dish and within minutes without me having to ask they already had automated it and shipped me another one and so it's those are the kind of things that when you're operating a business are, is a no-brainer to go with the with the business dish, even though it is significantly more expensive. Um, I think that we're also just on the tip of the iceberg here. We're probably going to end up seeing some new features that are going to roll out to the business plan. And, uh, you know, SpaceX or, or Elon Musk in general has in the past, uh, with as he did with Tesla, also uh, used the more expensive dishes to help fund the rest or the more expensive uh, tiers to help fund the rest of the organization and continue the cash flow. And I'm sure that's what we're going to see here. And so likely going to see some more interesting things, higher speeds likely being announced and and uh, and delivered on the business dishes. And then we'll trickle down uh, later on to the residential side. So definitely worth it for us. It's more stable. It's faster, better upload. And uh, again, support that was just phenomenal. Um, do, 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 do. One thing to note, as I said in the video, I didn't, I was not able to figure out how to wire the cable down through the mount. On the residential model, the cable itself um, had a flexible, uh, almost like a hinge, so that it was able to go into the rest of the pole and then slide directly into the mount. Here, that there was plastic around it. It wasn't a flexible hinge at all, and so it was looked like it was designed to sit directly on top of the mount and come out from the side. So I, I will get in touch with them and see if we can uh, get some clarification on that, if that's by design or if mine was just a, a fluke, um, but something to definitely uh, keep an eye on. Other than that, like I said, it's been uh, really so far so good. I will have to go up there and swap it out, but everybody's happy with it thus far, and uh, you know it's it's only been uh, a better overall performance for us. So stay tuned for more, I guess. This is my first unboxing video, so be gentle. Uh, we're hoping to do more like this as part of the WFX series. We are all about business technology. You can check out our other shows, Workspace Recap, which is all about Google Workspace, and SAS Showdown, which is all about managing SAS applications and staying sane. And we also have a cybersecurity show in the works, as well as a uh, collaboration with the ITDRC, which is the Information Technology Disaster Resource Center, to talk about and uh, go through and create a show around the, the deployments that they do in response to disasters to make sure the communications get back up and running as soon as possible so that people who are affected by those disasters can get the the help and uh, the assistance that they need. Drop your questions in the comments in the video down below. We're happy to uh, hear from you and do our best to answer any of the questions that come up. Please subscribe to the channel and like us on social media. We are at Tap Geeks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on WFX.